Adam Sintel Mangali, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your Daily Revolution. Today's topic, if results matter, then exactness matters. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I got a coach right now. His name is Ed. Ed looks like one of those guys from American Gladiator. Traps, biceps, calves, legs. Like, he, he just looks like, you know, he was chiseled from marble. And I hired him about six months ago, was losing fat, feeling great, and then I, I tore my Achilles, had surgery, and I've continued to pay Ed because I believe in coaching, and I've, like, he's helped me with the Achilles tear, eating right, even though I haven't been exact. Well, you know, no more boot, no more scooter. I'm walking, I'm working out. I'm walking almost without a limp. And this morning I took a picture, I sent it to him, and I'm like, man, I don't like the way I look. What's going on? <laughs> and it's funny, right? Like, it's really, really funny, Satema. Because Satema already knows. I already know. I am not being exact. You see, in, in the physical domain, right, with fitness and nutrition, depending on what your goals are, if you just want to be health or like fit, you don't have to eat great. You know, you don't have to eat good food. You can just eat and then work out. And when you're younger, that works. You know, I could eat anything, not gain weight, not gain fat. My metabolism just roared. Today, it doesn't work that way. And Ed has given me a meal plan. And when I follow the meal plan, like, man, it looks like my body just takes shape and form. And I have not been exact at all. So, you know, and I hit him up, I'm like, man, it's not changing. Then he hits me back and he's like, bro, if you're following, I mean, you know, right, he, he, he was kind in his words, but basically what he said was, bro, if you're following exactly what I tell you to do, and I pull a half cup from your meal, you're gonna lose weight. And I, I tweak this, you're gonna lose. It was a kind way of saying, like, Satema, you're a dummy. Go get a hammer and hit yourself with it. How in the world can Satema even expect to have results when I'm not being exact? Like, it's impossible. I feel like the um, Princess Bride. Inconceivable. It's impossible, guys. It doesn't work that way. You know, if you, if you cheat a couple fries here, an extra burger here. Now look, I've been more strict than I've been in quite some time, but I'm not exact. And it shows. Just look at my pictures, right? If I take my shirt off, which I do, I take a picture, I send it to Ed, and Ed's like, dude, bro. And he's like, bro, come on, man. And so I'm shooting a podcast right now while I'm driving, like, man, you know what? It's on me. Like, I'm good. But if I want to just look good, I don't need to hire Ed. I don't need to pay him the money. I don't need a meal prep. I can just kind of watch what I eat. But if I want to look like a demigod, let me look like Thor or Captain America. Let me look lean and ripped and shredded and let me perform, whether it be in the weight room, in life as a father, you know, let me perform and look good, have muscles. The word is exact with exactness. In a volume of scripture that I read, it, it talks about these young men and these young men, it says that they did obey with exactness. You know, when you're in the, when you're in the army, you're in the military, exactness matters. We say details matter because it your life depends on it. So what's the lesson here? Are you being exact or are you being a poor woe is me victim like Satema? How come my body's not changing? And I can hear Ed right now, bro, you ain't doing the work, man. You are not eating exactly what I give you. Because if I did, man, my body would change. So, right, course correction time to kind of own up to the fact that I've been like 70%, 65%. Okay, maybe more like 60% been more 60% than anything. And now Tim has got to get that up to about 90. So what did I do? I told him, hey, you know what? Meal prep again. I'm going to pay you for meal prep. I'm, I'm going to literally eat only what you tell me to eat. Nothing more, nothing less. Because I'm doing my cardio. I'm doing my lifts. But I'm not eating what he's telling me to eat. My goodness, Satema, wake up. 
So what's the lesson here? Be exact. Where can you be exact? <clears throat> Physical fitness and health. And can you be exact? You know, like with what you eat and what you work out. Spiritually, or do you have a obedience or a, um, a willingness to do the disciplines with exactness? In your relationships, your marriage, your family. Do the details matter? Do you take care of your spouse and your children? Do you do what you say you're gonna do? Do you date your spouse? Do you hug your kids? Do you build your children up? You know, do you drop your ego and humble yourself before your spouse and let your home be a, a sanctuary of faith and a place of peace? Or do you just, you know, kind of loosey-goosey, oh, we wanted to date like three months ago, that's good. We made vows 15 years ago, we're good. That's called getting divorced pretty soon, my friend. And of course, in business, be exact, be excellent, be great. Like there's a time, that, look, it's November, December coming up, right? November, December, it's the holidays when I'm shooting this podcast, my goodness. If I really want, like every holidays I gain weight and then I gotta take it off, you know, for the next two months. I ain't doing that, nuh -uh. I'm gonna eat the meals, I'm, I want my body to change. <clears throat> I wanna be cut and shredded. I wanna look like Thor, you know, in Marvel. Captain America, I want to look good, man. Why? I can tell you why, a lot of reasons. Right? I'm looking for my wife, looking good for my kids, I want to feel good, look good, feel good. Confidence goes up, performance goes up, right? action goes up, certainty and confidence, like everything goes up when you look good, feel good. And more than that, the, the inside transformation of who I have to become, even shooting this podcast, man, like, look, I get it, when I had the Achilles surgery, yeah, I want to sit and I'm not going to probably be exact and I was somewhat, you know, sad and depressed. But dude, that time's done. It's five months. It's time to go. So, question for you is where can you be more exact today, my friends? Are you being exact? Or are you still blaming like it's Mister? It's mysterious? Why am I not making more money? How come I'm not? My life isn't that great. Well, if you're going to like stay up late till three in the morning and eat a, a dozen donuts and you're not going to meditate and you're not going to work, if you're not going to do some of those simple things that you know would make a difference with exactness, you can count on not having a very good life and not getting the results you want. So go be exact. Take inventory of your life. Right now, where can you be more exact? And for me, it's just with my eating. That's it. If I can just eat right, again, I'm only going to eat what he tells me to eat. I'm not going to steal a fry or a cupcake or a cookie. And what's the truth? I've been about 60%. It's not good enough. Not good enough, so tell them. All right, my friends, look, go be exact in your life. And uh, if this podcast is helping you, share it, tag me, leave a message, leave a review. Share it out with someone. That would mean a lot to me as we get this prosperity revolution moving forward. Have a great day, my friends. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.